Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about painting aluminum wheels. Now, before you do that, you have to decide, do you wanna polish them or do you wanna paint them? And there's a couple things that you really need to consider that you might not be aware of. So here we have uh, up top on that tire rack, that is a uh, aluminum wheel, circa 90s, this is a 1995. And this one's in great shape. So this one I'm leaving as is. And you can see um, the way this wheel's done on a lot of vehicles from the 90s. Aluminum's great. This is actually a very robust light wheel for the Land Cruiser, which is built to uh, go over anything. So it's machined. And then you have this more matte finish here. Aluminum, aluminum, but this is clear coated. So I actually was thinking of getting a set of these wheels powder coated. Went to the powder coater shop and he's like, uh-uh. So he put some acetone or some lacquer and he showed, look, this is going to get tacky and the powder coating, which is like a baking, uh, will not work. So if you have wheels like this with a clear coat, forget about powder coating and you might be at the point of deciding to um, not polish, but to paint. So that one there is painted and a great finish. The cap is painted too. And this is the one, this is my project today. I'm actually painting this one. I know in that light, it looks good. Let's get a closer look. It's got a lot of pitting and issues up in here. This is actually one of my better ones. Uh, the other ones are already prepared. I just wanted to grab this one for the video. But you can see all this crap. It just won't sand out. And there's uh, sections that are scratched. Now, if you re-clear coat, you know, what are you gonna do? Mask that off? Are you gonna clear coat that too? Whatever the condition of the wheel is when you clear coat, that's exactly what it's gonna look like when you're done. So you better make sure if you're gonna re-clear coat a set of wheels that they're impeccable. But paint will cover the imperfections. So that's like a um, anthracite color right there. So that's a great looking color. So these, not doing, can't powder coat, and you can paint. So if you're gonna paint, and let's take a look at some powder coated wheels actually. These are powder coated. Those are uh, Yankee Gold Prismatic color. Love that color. Powder coated, so, you know, very uh, robust. And the bead locker's also powder coated. All right. And powder coating is pricey, you know, it, the cheaper solution is painting, but sometimes you don't have an option. Now, you know, a lot of people paint the caps too. What I do is this is just um, some black satin um, chassis paint. So I just paint that black, make it look good. So you just kind of wire brush it, sand it down, get any surface rust off and then paint. So to me, I like that look. Now here's a polished wheel. So this one, you know, again, way better to polish it and make it look fantastic you know based on its era that's an older wheel it's from the the 80s well they still make them these days but how do you know if it's aluminum that's not clear coated and it is clear coated and the answer is pretty simple when you put in aluminum polish it's going to tarnish and start turning black like this rag i just polished this up for this video so this black i mean the whole wheel goes black this one right here would not because that's lacquer so i'm just using what a aluminum polish on basically a painted coat it's not going to do anything it's going to just stay red like that but black on this 100 percent. and i can keep putting polish on that and even though it's nice and shiny and looks great right now it's still going to produce that blackness that's a after that's a before see how dull it is there's like no shine in it whatsoever and then look at that shine and i can make this even brighter just by doing more coats so that's the trick to know if you're aluminum wheel because sometimes people get these they clean them all up and then they do a clear coat because they don't want to have to do the maintenance you know every six months you know passing uh easily you know once it's clean once you've done the hard hard work every three to six months yeah you're going to want to do a quick little wipe down with some aluminum polish so people clear coat them and if they do you ain't going to get that and you uh you can't polish the lacquer you can just clean it like a painted wheel all right so these ones are in great shape as you can see and this truck hasn't been washed that's not even washed 
but great shape, so I'm gonna leave that one. But I will paint this wheel right here. Again, the sun's making it look great, but it's got all these issues in here. That's why I decided with all this little chipping, the paint is gonna hide that. Now let's look at a uh, anodized wheel. All right, this wheel I'm bringing to the powder coat shop because I don't like the color of that wheel. I'm gonna do the bead locker. This is real bead locker in black and I'm gonna do the interior in gunmetal gray. But this is anodized, which means the whole wheel, when it's metal raw, gets dipped into a, a vat and it's like a chemical reaction um, to, you know, to get these specific colors, you know, dye or whatever they put in it, but that color goes into the metal. And you know, the sun does take a, a beating on it. You can see it's not really, it's starting to fade. But again, I'm getting those powder coated because they're a perfect candidate uh, because it's bare metal and the color's inside the metal. But back to this wheel, some people are gonna say, well, why don't you uh, go get it media blasted? Well, because it's aluminum and softer, if, uh, you know, eggshells, uh, glass beads, uh, uh, whatever, cashew shells, whatever shells they, not eggshells, sorry, um, whatever shells they use, you know, during that media blast, sand blasting process, uh, would destroy this wheel. It could start pitting it, can start damaging it. So that's why, you know, when it's got that clear coat on it, the option is to paint. And one of the first steps after sanding it down, so I'm gonna show you that in a second on the wheels I've got prepared, you wanna put an epoxy. So an epoxy primer before you put your paint. And then you're good to go. So let's go check out the wheels I'm about to paint. All right, here's the wheels I'm gonna paint. So I've already hit it with a 320 and then with a uh, 1000 grit. So just to rough it up, smooth out as much as I can. The paint's gonna do a lot of filler on that. And then same thing with the caps. Now I've got a bunch of videos just to share with you on polishing wheels. It's a video that's got almost a half a million views, lots of likes, so I guess I, I did give some good advice on the best products you use for polishing. I got videos on uh, how to paint a chrome wheel. I have a video on um, well, polishing, painting chrome, and then just painting an OEM wheel, how to prep and all that. So I'll put that in the description uh, so you can check those videos if your project is a chrome wheel. I also have a video on how to, well, let me show you how to get rid of rust on a wheel like that. So I had a set of four Land Cruiser wheels. It was all rusted, not as bad as this one, but I take a wire brush I just hit it hard and you know vehicles from the 80s and early 90s that chrome is different than the chrome today it's just like bulletproof so you'd be amazed that wire brush didn't even scratch up or you know the condition of that chrome was phenomenal so i polished those ones up and they looked i'm not going to say a hundred percent showroom but darn near 95 percent so that wheel right there that a lot of people would say is a goner and you wouldn't even want to paint that because the rust is still underneath it you need to remove that rust so I have a video on that as well that uh, might be worth your while to check. All right, we're ready to paint now. So just to give you a close up of why, that's, that's after sanding. Uh, I clean it with acetone afterwards as well. So it still has that type of stuff. So I felt that these were better off to be repainted. And there's my epoxy, which is a two mix. We already shook it for two minutes. So let's see. So you see, I'm gonna go in the motions of the metal, the five star, like that. Just get a tacky coat. So I'm gonna do the same thing, get a tacky coat on all of them, come back, put a thicker coat, and then roll them. This is on my kind of half wall, so it's at, you know, waist level. It makes it easier, and then I'll roll them and get them all done. All right, let's do it. All right, and there's coat number one of the base of the epoxy. And you can see, covers it nicely. It's a great spray can. That's a German brand, that 2K. And that spray nozzle is top notch. 
So we're going to give that dry time and then go hit it with our color and then with clear coat. This is the easy part. The prep, the prep is what takes time. The spraying, that's the fun part. Okay, and we're using the deeply color graphite. And you're going to want to get one of these triggers so you save your finger. But let me keep giving a coat and we'll see what it looks like. And that's coat number one, just to get it tacky. Very light. Let it sit for a bit. I like to give little short, quick bursts, staying about six, eight inches away. Yeah, just short, short strokes, and this trigger really helps. Like right in there, right there. Okay, that's two coats. So short, even, and then I finish off with, you know, holding it while holding it about eight inches away, giving a nice, even coat. Let that dry a bit, and we'll do coat number three. Okay, there's some solid coats on there. And they're looking awesome. Now you could stop here, or you could put clear coat, either matte or gloss. If you put the clear coat, they actually darken up. So I'm going to let this sit and dry, and we will add our clear coat tomorrow because it's starting to get dark here. Aren't those sweet? Looking great. And caps as well. All right, so we have finished. I actually did it when it was a little dark, so um, no video footage on that, but the clear coat is the easiest stuff to put on because it sprays way thinner. And this is all Duplicolor. That's the finished wheel right there. So let's get a close up. So the prep is the hard stuff, just making sure you sand down, smooth it out, but look at that. And that's the original right there. So it's darker, a little bit more gray. That's graphite, you know, compared to the machined. But looking very nice. So I do have a video on painting wheels, so you can kind of see that a little bit more detail with spray technique and all, but it's really short bursts, eight inches away, making sure you keep rotating the wheel and uh, you know turning it so you get every nook and cranny. And then the clear coat's super simple, but there it is. And yes, you cannot powder coat these. Um, so you need to do an epoxy and then and you can't polish those either i mean you can polish them but it's clear coat so it's not aluminum polish per se so they'll clean up nice but if you have nooks you know scratches things like that you're never going to get rid of it until you paint it and there's the finished product all right so subscribe check it out i've got all those other videos i mentioned i'll put in the description on painting polishing getting rid of rust on wheels so thanks for watching happy trails